I hope everyone's having a good Friday. So all the first time viewers and investors, welcome here to the channel and to all the subscribers, welcome back. So as we jump into this chart, I do want you guys to be aware that I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys towards the end of this video. Actually two ticker symbols. You don't want to miss out on this, how they've reacted, how they can possibly continue to react based off of analysis ratings. They may have a slight pullback in the near future, like next week or so, which may be signs of an opportunity. But at the end of the day, it's all about the long term on these two and even how they reacted in the short term. So some good strength. We're going to talk about them. And um, I believe that you guys should definitely be aware of it because a lot of investors and I'm just going to be honest, you guys come across my videos and see only the chart analysis because that's what you were looking for. And I know that you guys appreciate that part of my videos, but you're overlooking the second part, especially those of you that aren't subscribed or don't really know the structure of my channel. But towards the end, I always have ticker symbols to share with you guys that are showing strength. And I've been talking about these two since last week, this week, and I mean, plenty of opportunities to go ahead and make some quick gains on these. And everyone's always leaving that second half of the video because you saw the chart analysis and that's it. Cause I understand that's what you were looking for. You're looking for HOFB. That's what you're invested in. That's what you're doing research in, but I'm here to cast light, right? On the opportunities that investors are sometimes overlooking within the market. You got to think about this, you know, HOFV and the others in your watch list or in your portfolio are not the only ticker symbols in the world. There's a total amount just here on this total entire filter is 5,166 matches. If I actually up that and make it even broader, this can go up to almost 8,000, 9,000 different ticker symbols. Okay. There's plenty of opportunities out there. The thing is a lot of people are overlooking them. I'm here to cast light and make you guys aware of the ones you may not be seeing. So stay tuned for that part. I just want you to check it out so you guys are aware. And not only that, but for every single video moving forward, you know, you don't have to stay the whole second part of the video, but at least listen out to the first one minute, two minutes, three minutes of me discussing why the stock is an opportunity and what it's showing because it will give you some insight. I mean, if you can watch through the whole thing, it's going to be even better for you guys to be more equipped. So. Here we are with HOFV showing weakness, right? And the downward trend after spiking up to $7 and some change. Now, I want you guys to be aware that down here at 419 and right here at 383, those are our two support levels to keep in mind if this weakness continues. Now, I do see some weakness opportunity here, like it could possibly continue to pull back even though the market's going up. And if the market actually starts to pull downwards, because this is a pretty big run and it may have to cool off. This stock might take another pullback. That's why you want to keep in mind down here 420s, 419 and down here the 380s because it could possibly touch around that area, hopefully build a support. We're going to have to see how things play out and then bounce back up because a lot of investors and analysis readings and even articles that I've read and then I'm seeing in the comments are pretty bullish on this stock for the reopening plays the expansion of this company, the opportunities with the NFTs, just so much. Some people are even saying that this has opportunity in the long run, like way beyond what we see. So could this break $8? Possibly. And if it does, this could be heading on towards $10. So let's look at our support here. So the support for the day is 474. We're sitting at 498. You want to watch that carefully, how quick it breaks through that. And if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up. Now our support is very important, but also the 50 day moving average. Why? Because that lets us know on what side of the chart we're in. So we are in bearish territory. The 50 day moving average is 523. We're below it. Once we cross it, we're back with the bulls starting to gain control. We've been in bearish territory significantly since the 30th, right? After that run on the 29th on the 30th started to pull down and we've been below it since. So we kind of ended the week. A little a little week actually and i think that we may even start next week a little weaker if it pulls down a little bit but the one thing i am seeing when you actually kind of zoom out is a consolidation within this area so if the stock kind of just hangs out within this area moving forward all it takes is a good catalyst to bring it up to newer highs so that won't be signs of weakness if anything strength because remember 
the move from down here to here is pretty good so far and it could bounce back up and then continue you know in that upward direction over time we're gonna have to see but a lot of people are feeling bullish a lot of analysis ratings and that's pretty good so what's the resistance level that the bulls need to break through well they need to break through this point right here the highest point in the day and that's 537 so if they can cross the 50 day moving average their next goal is 537 excuse me turn it into a support to pull upwards and reach newer highs as always guys if you're a first time viewer or investor don't forget to subscribe click on the bell to not miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video helps out the youtube channel with the youtube algorithm and stay tuned hold on tight because we got a lot to cover with these other two stocks how they've reacted how they reacted in the short term and their potential in the long term so in today's video i'm going to share with you guys how the s p 500 index hit an all new time high what that means for us next week and what we need to look for but before we dive into that i do want every single investor and viewer to be aware of two ticker symbols that i've been mentioning here on the youtube i've mentioned it over at the patreon and if you guys want to know what stocks i'm watching weekly and live for 13 cents a day literally 13 cents a day the first tier four dollars which those slots are going to get filled up very soon i'm treating the patreon and i want you guys to be aware of this like a stock right early stock ipo'd you know a lot of people don't know about it and it's going to grow over time and when i mean it grows over time it's going to grow with people and investors that are bringing value to the community it's going to grow with all the content i'm going to have there because when you gain access you gain access to everything as soon as you join you gain access to everything i've talked about in the last two months and everything i'm going to continue to talk about right so when somebody comes in a year from now they're going to actually be able to join on in and they're going to get access to everything that i talked about in a year and even see how things have done now i'm not there to guarantee maximizing profits or minimizing losses but i am here to set you guys up for that opportunity to maximize your profits minimize your losses we're going to have a discord really soon and if you want to know the top stocks that i'm watching right now and next week and when this weekend comes up because i'm going to update it you can join now and start april to succeed this month if your months have been red or they haven't been as exciting as it's been before you want to join in now because the opportunities are going to be endless because we're going to talk about so many different ticker symbols so many different things but let's look at these stocks so the first thing is pin duo duo i mentioned this on the 24th it was sitting at 124 okay sitting at 124 and when we look at pin duo duo you can see here how pin duo duo on the 24th was falling and it kind of sat there at 124 it hit a low of 119 and right now it's sitting on 143 with a high of 147 you could do the math that's about 27 dollars almost 30 dollars now Another one that I talked about, which I've mentioned several times here on the YouTube towards the end of the videos, is CHPT. And I talked about how we want to pay close attention to see if it can get back to $20 or get close to it. And certainly it did that and it broke through it. Okay. It hit a low here. I talked about it on the 21st, the 22nd, and ran up to $25, fell down to $19, which is what I equipped every single Patreon member with. And as soon as as it hit that it started to run up and it's hit thirty dollars this one's up eleven dollars since i mentioned it per share so if you bought one share you made eleven dollars if you bought ten shares you made a hundred and ten dollars okay if you went ahead and bought um a hundred shares a hundred shares you've made a total amount of one thousand one hundred shares okay i don't know what that means to you i'm gonna explain everything on the patreon once i make the series and these are two opportunities and there's many more that are doing pretty well i mean i even talked about neo i talked about others you know for you to get the full access there's like 20 plus ticker symbols over there so far you can join us over at the patreon me and the other investors and i'm out here just trying to maximize profits minimize losses and my goal for example just based off this chart is to go ahead and strike the opportunity right here the best opportunity that's presented right now compared to the history of the chart and for 
the future, right? I try to get in at the best moments, as you can see, with those two stocks that I talked about. Now, other stocks are kind of moving sideways, but like I said, I'll explain more over at the Patreon about those stocks and what I see in them and what I believe in them. So the S&P 500 index has actually ran up to an all-time high, and this is important for us. So I want you guys to be aware there's two things that can happen next week. We could see it spike up a little bit more and all of a sudden fall down because it is due for a pullback. It needs to cool off. I'm not saying it's going to get back to 39.73, but it could fall somewhere between that area. And once it does, it will consolidate maybe and then start to run up again. That's one case. The second one is that this just gets crazy and goes all the way up to the 4100s, 4200s. And once it's time to cool off, it's going to be a big cool off. And when I say a big cool off, I'm talking about like a big downward trend closer to 3,800, 3,900 from those highs. And then we're going to have to go ahead and see overall what's going in the market, right? Because there's going to be that turbulence of uncertainty with inflation, you know, spikes in the yields. What What's going to be the cause at that point, right? But right now we've had a pretty nice bullish run after this slight pullback. We're going to just have to see how healthy this can maintain itself. And pullbacks are healthy. It's just about how big is the pullback going to be. And also runs are healthy, but how long will it be running? Because if this just takes off to 41, 42, the pullback is going to be nasty. And we need to pay close attention. Now, I know a lot of us have our ticker symbols or our stocks kind of sitting sideways or downwards. But you have to find stocks you believe in. And you also need to analyze those stocks that you're in. Why were you in them? What was your goal? And do you truly believe there's an opportunity six months from now or a year from now? As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.